What is up everyone, my name is Jasper and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Project 24. Now, if some of you may remember, I've already kind of reviewed this course a while ago, but since then a lot of things have changed. Now in this video, I think a lot of people have actually come from that video, it's my most viewed video by far, but it was published around one and a half years ago. And as I said, a lot of things have changed, so for starters, back then I believe Jim and Ricky were like the primary two phases of the entire course. Nowadays, Jim has left and Ricky has kind of built a team around himself. Also, since my last video, they've made two major updates to the entire blogging course. The very first one kind of shook things around the most and the second one kind of improved upon the first one. And overall, it's a whole lot different than it was back when I made my first video about it. And one more thing that I really started to notice is that they've really been shifting a lot of attention and a lot of focus towards YouTube instead of just blogging. Back then, I believe when I joined, it was still entirely all around blogging. I believe back then it was still a period where you could publish 30 articles on a site and still expect to make like a $1,000 a month. And of course those times are long gone, but it kind of shows you how the entire course has changed and evolved over time. So just as the course has changed over time, so have I. And as you guys know, I always tend to get hit by core updates and it has been happening for the better part of two years now. Basically every update that drops negatively affects me, at least in some way. And that has really sort of tarnished my view on blogging in its entirety. I am personally no longer as optimistic as I was a couple of years back. And to be honest, I also think that blogging in and of itself is becoming more and more difficult. Earlier I mentioned how when I first joined Project 24, it was still a time where they realistically expected you to be able to make a thousand dollars a month with just 30 articles and nowadays 30 articles on a site isn't even enough to get to the 100 dollars mark in most cases so with blogging becoming more and more difficult every year and google just taking away all of the control that you want to have in the business i mean it's honestly ridiculous how little control you actually have over this business it is becoming more and more important to kind of follow a roadmap that has proven to be successful so without further ado, let's just dive into what this course includes and how you can benefit from that. So what does the course include? Well, as I said, this course is always changing and evolving. So what is included now may not be there or maybe expanded upon in the future. But the course now is larger than it has ever been. When I made my first video, it has been expanded upon greatly. Nowadays, there are 75 blogging courses and 85 YouTube courses. And by those numbers alone, you can already see why I say that they're kind of shifting more towards YouTube. But I have to say that the information is still very solid, even for the blogging course, even though I, in my opinion, it has been kind of be priority number two lately, the information there is still very solid. And one of the things that I love most about this course is the fact that there's an entire community behind the course. Personally, I don't really renew for the course itself anymore. I always just renew my subscription, mainly for the forum. There are so many knowledgeable people and so many very, very successful people there that constantly share golden nuggets, tips, whatever. That is, in my opinion, where the real value lies. But if you're a beginner and you're new to blogging, the entire blogging course itself is also going to be very, very helpful. Speaking of beginners, this course is extremely easy for beginners. It's so simple to just get started. They do really explain all the basics. And that is also one of the things that most people don't like about Project 24. It really is just a compilation of the basics and getting started. But that makes it all the better for people that have no experience with this. Um, just like I, when I first started four years ago, I had no idea how to get a website set up or how to do web hosting or whatever. And the course just walks you through it and it makes it very, very easy. But yeah, as I said, uh, the main reason I say that this course still works and I still uh, think the information is valuable is because of all the forum members. All of these people there, they are sharing their successes. And a lot of people there are sharing incredible successes, but there's also so many people that make an extra 100, an extra 1000, an extra $500 a month. And even that is still pretty substantial. I mean, for most people, an extra $500 a month is definitely a welcome side. Now, as for the YouTube side of things, this is actually what I'm most excited about right now. As you guys know, I'm st really struggling with getting my websites to work nowadays. It, they always tend to get hit by updates. So I'm trying to shift my focus towards something else and that doesn't mean that i'm going to stop blogging or whatever but it does mean that i'm going to pour more attention into something else and i think the best way to do that is by trying to improve my videos 
So I'm currently going through the YouTube course and Nate uh, is the one behind this course. And I have to say, this guy is <laughs> absolutely incredible. He, he's, he appears so knowledgeable. He explains everything in such great detail. Uh, the, the, the main thing I really like about him is that he goes into so much detail but keeps it so beginner friendly. And that's also seen in his Channel Makers uh, YouTube channel, which you can follow as well. This guy is just oozing personality and he just gives so much great information. And this is really where my focus is going to be at in the coming couple of months. But so far I've been through most of this course and I've been through the entire previous YouTube course. And I have to say, this is once again, very solid information. And if you're new to starting a channel, or even if you already know uh, the basics of YouTube, this course is still going to be so, so helpful. I mean, just take a look at the Channel Makers channel, uh, just scroll through it, watch some of those videos, and then just imagine what is behind a paid course. So in my previous Project 24 video, I walked you guys through some of my websites. Back then, I believe most sites were around the two year old mark, so it fit perfectly. Since then, I really have only started one more site and it's currently around a year old. I believe it's exactly one year old, which is the home website. Now this side may be a bit familiar because this is the one that I've been following on the channel. It's also known as the case study website. But aside from the entire course, Income School also provides you with a timeline so you can kind of check if you are where you're supposed to be. Now this timeline, they say that it is a bit conservative. So typically they say they see a bit higher results, but let's just look at what my home site is doing according to what Income School thinks it should be doing. So of course in month one, there should be zero page views, zero income. And that is of course also the case for my site. Now there is some pages there because of course I am on the site myself, but that's just me. So those don't really count. Now I'm going to do this in three months increments just to make it a bit easier. So in month three, they expect you to get 50 page views, but again, zero income. Now in my case, my uh, website did 650 page views, but I think that once again, a lot of those are from myself. Still uh, 650 is a lot more than 50. So I'm crushing what they expect me to do. Then in month six, they expect you to do around 300 page views a month with an income of around $4.50. Now in my case, I once again was a bit above that goal. I was at 830 page views and this site was not yet monetized. So there's no income there. However, I do have to say that I uh, on purpose didn't really monetize this site. I only monetized it near the end of October. So, so the monetization numbers are really not going to add up for this example, but the page view numbers really do paint you that picture. And I have to say that the income based on the number of page views does seem very realistic. So then moving on to month nine, they expect you to do 3000 page views a month with an income of $66. And this is where my site starts to slow down a bit. I was at 2600 page views and of course, once again, $0 in income. Now moving on to month 12, which is where this uh, comparison is going to end because this website is only 12 months, but income school expects you to get 12,000 page views a month with an income of $264. Personally, I didn't see these numbers. I was stuck at a page view numbers of 9,444 and they only made around $27. Granted, these $27 are coming from only the last couple of days of October. And of course, the first few days that you're monetized with a new ad network are always going to be a little bit lower. Currently in November, I'm seeing some pretty decent results. They are still performing a little bit below the timeline, but I do have to say that I also really stopped producing content for this site. So in general, this site is really following the uh, expected timeline of income school. But with that being said, I do have to say that most of my sites tend to follow uh, this, uh, this timeline. They tend to start off great and they do exactly what people would expect, but they don't really survive the next year. The first year is always pretty similar. Uh, it's just steady growth, but the next year is where things start to break down. I mean, just look at the accessory site right here. Uh, it got hit in literally every update in the last couple of months. Then take a look at the beauty site. Once again, it didn't even reach the two year mark. It, it reached one year, 11 months, then it dropped down by 80%. So that's where my site seemed to struggle the most, but I don't seem to be alone in that. And this is the part where I would like to say that this is going to be an honest review. And it wouldn't be an honest review if I didn't say the things that I don't like about the course anymore. So as I said, most of my sites tend to get hit by updates and don't survive the second year. And that is also what I'm seeing for a lot of the Project 24 members, but also for the Project 24 sites themselves. And this is really where things get a little bit stingy to me. I mean, these guys, they have a fantastic course and on paper, everything is correct. They do a lot of uh, great things. They do leave out some things like link building that people would like to be included. 
For some reason, they don't really include that, but it doesn't seem like what they're teaching is working for them. So here's a screenshot of the Project 24 forum, and there was a poll done by one of the members asking who was hit by the last couple of updates. And as you can see, more than 65% of the people got hit, and most of those were hit between 20 and 90%. And that is honestly a bit shocking to me. All of these people are paying these guys a lot of money, yet their sites tend to always get hit. And we can take it even further because it's not just the Project 24 members, it's also the Project 24 sites themselves. They recently started a sort of series where they're going to uh, get Cook for Folks, one of their websites, back up again. They're doing this on their channel, so I'm confident in saying the website and stuff like that. But it doesn't seem like they're safe. And that's really one of the things that does hurt uh, to see because, I mean, you put your trust in these guys and they come across like they know everything. And I'm, I'm pretty certain that they do know a lot of stuff, but it's kind of weird to see that it doesn't work for them. I mean, they're teaching it, but it doesn't work for them. And that's really the main difference between my stance on the course uh, in this video and my previous video, because back then they had a portfolio of very solid sites. They had Embora Pets, uh, Outdoor Troop, they had uh, Camper Report, I believe. They had a lot of websites that were pretty successful. Uh, and nowadays they can't really seem to get a site above the 30, 40,000 pages a month mark. And honestly, most of my sites, even my beauty site that got hit by 80% is still larger or at least on the same size as their largest website. And, and that is one of the things that kind of stings me. Now, on the other hand, uh, they do have the YouTube section of things and I praised Nate for being such a great guy and being so knowledgeable. But the thing is, he's actually putting in the work and it's also working. He's explaining how to do YouTube, but he also built a successful YouTube channel. So Channel Makers is currently sitting at around 170,000 subscribers, I believe. And it makes it a lot more trustworthy to see him teaching something, but him also doing it successfully. So I am ending this video off on a bit of a bad note, but I do have to say that I want this to be honest. Um, and I do kind of lose faith in the fact that these guys can't seem to get a website up and running the way they used to. And part of that is because the blogging world has changed so much over the last couple of years. But then again, there's also Nate who is practicing what he preaches and the Income School YouTube channel is of course also doing really well. So it's a bit of a mixed bag to me. I mean, the blogging course, it feels like it's being a little bit put to the back burner uh, in favor of the YouTube course. And it also shows in the results. Their channels are doing great, their blogs not so much. Anyway, that is really my view on the course. I do still think that the information presented there is still very helpful, especially if you're just starting out. And the people over in the Project 24 forum, they are showing that what is being taught there is working. There are some incredible guys in there that make anywhere from 10 to $50,000 a month or more even in some cases. But it really goes to show that the course is still correct. I mean, it, the information that's presented is still correct and it does still work, but it does leave a bit of a sour taste to see that these guys aren't able to do it themselves anymore. Anyway, that is really it for now. I really want to thank you all for watching. If you want my verdict for this course in a few short words, I would say it is worth it if you're just starting out. Anyway, without further ado, I really want to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.